Welcome to this seated Qigong class for What is the World? Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. I am Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center. And this particular version is the shorter version of What is the World Qigong class, which is accompanying the, the 10 lessons from, from 241 to 250. And what we want to do here is we're gonna, we want to become aware of the separating force of the earth, which keeps everything in place, but also the uniting force of the earth. So today we are focusing on the earth element. And this is going to be a shorter class than the standing class. The standing class is a longer class, but you can also do the standing class seated. It's just that this particular class is more meant for the evening, just before going to bed, where we are collecting all our thoughts and we are returning back into relaxation, really. So take a seat, come on the edge of your chair, relax your feet. Imagine that you're growing roots into the earth from your feet and imagine that you're growing roots from your perineum in the earth. And you can also imagine that you're growing a tail from your tailbone into the earth, the dragon's tail. And I like to move the pelvis, the hips, for this particular purpose. I like to shake it a little bit, which is also putting the spine back into alignment. And it helps in the visualization as you're growing that dragon's tail into the earth and connecting to the earth force. The earth is yin. It's the negative force. It's very attractive. It's the female force. And yang is the light. It's the male force. It's the universe. And the earth is in the universe. And I always look at the ego or the expressions of fear as a ball which has closed itself off of the, of the light and is, we are looking inwards, we are focusing on the darkness in the light. We are, we are focusing on that darkness within the center of this ball. All the while we have the light of the universe all around us. And this is what for me the earth symbolizes within the universe. You've also got the sun, which is emanating light all the time, giving life to our earth. And it's also no surprise that in Egypt, they were praying to the sun as a god because it was emanating light at all times. Hmm. And we want to connect to that earth force. And we also want to connect to the universal force. And for that, we are going to use the first exercise of the Badwan Jin, which is holding up the heaven with two hands. So you connect yourself to the earth energy, and then you bring the earth energy all the way up, interlace your fingers, and then stretch up and lift your feet as well. In. And then exhale. I'll show you this from the side. This is an exercise you should do every day, really. So you inhale, lift up your feet, lift the hands up, stretch up and look up. And then exhale, relax the feet and you can lift up your toes. Just to give a nice little stretch. Let's do that one more time. We are Balancing the triple warmer here. So you collect the earth chi, you bring it up the perineum, up through the central channel, up to about the height of your mouth. Here's where you interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift up your uh, heels. And then exhale, sink the heels down and now lift up the toes. Very good, let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Very, very nice. And now we are going to separate 
yin and yang, become aware of the yin and yang force. So you put one hand, your left hand up to your spleen and the other hand up to your ear. And this particular exercise, which is the second exercise, is also part of Bad One Jin, which I have recorded in my English channel. You can do there as well, every day. So you inhale. So what you do, you push the hands down and then you kind of plug in and then you turn the hands up and you come to the ear again and to the height of the spleen and then push out again, plug in and then swap. That's it, we are separating yin and yang. Exhale, plug in and now inhale. Come to the ear and the spleen height and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. In. And ex. Last one. In. And hold here a second and then say, what is the world? And exhale. And this time come up. And then imagine that you're sinking down into pressing that energy into a ball. And inhale. And ex. And now inhale, plug yourself into yin and yang. And then bring these energies at the height. The bottom one is at the height of your belly. This, the top one is at the height of your chest. And bring it down, press the yin and yang into a ball. You're uniting yin and yang. We are uniting heaven and earth. We are uniting our mind and bringing each one of our um, senses into the service of union because we are here to save the world. And then you turn this ball around and you kind of sink it into this awareness of your body. And then you go inhale. You can also look up, connect to the heavenly source, collect the chi. Now exhale, bring the light back into your awareness. Exhale. And then turn it around, inhale. And sink it down into the awareness. And again, inhale. Connect to the young force, the light. Bring it back into the darkness. Exhale. You can also see a beautiful yin yang symbol here. Now inhale, turn it around. And root it into your awareness. Exhale. Very good. Let's do two more and each time ask the question, what is the world? Inhale. What is the world? X. In. And X. Root it down. Feel your roots, your connections to the earth as well, through that roots in your feet and the root from your perineum and your tail into the earth. Remembering that this body belongs to earth and your mind belongs to the universe and you are here to manifest that glory of spirit through your mind and through the body. And let's do one more time. Inhale. 
collect. Exhale, inhale, and root it in your body, in your awareness. Inhale up. Collect the heavenly chi. Exhale. In. And ex. And we're going to do the last time one on either side. I'm not going to guide you. You just do it by yourself. What is the world? And the last one. And then you take this ball in front of you and let's activate it. Inhaling, open it up. Exhale. Let's do one more breath. Opening up, making this ball big. So we can sit in this ball of our worldview and choose differently. And again, inhale. And exhale. And then say, what is the world? And then inhale up. And exhale down. And then do it the other way, diagonally, realizing that you are sitting within your worldview, within your ball of light, deciding of how this world is to look like. And then take your course and read the idea of the day and the prayer. And then just remember the idea and then expand it into this ball of light and exhale. Inhale. Repeat the idea. If you forgot the idea, you read it again. Don't worry about it. It's going to do three more of those breaths, expanding the idea into this worldview of ours. And exhale. And then inhale up and down. And exhale. Inhale up and down and X to the sides and X. Inhale. And X. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. 
what is the world? And repeat your idea one more time. And then let's condense this idea into a pearl. You can circulate it, or you can push it together. You're basically making like a condensed idea, like a pill. And then you circulate it, let it float in the center of your hands, and then just open it up and notice in which hand is the pearl, which which hand did you choose? And then you take this hand and put it into this belly button. You push it through the belly button into the belly and then push it down into the sea of chi. Your clarification from Holy Spirit, from God, what is the world together with today's idea? Hmm. And then let's center all our ideas into that central channel. Inhaling, bringing all the dispersed ideas back into alignment. Inhale, exhale down. And again, inhale. And exhale. And last one. In. And ex. And last one on this side. Thank you so much for participating with me. Here is the link to the Bad One Gin on my English channel. Here, what is the world? Here you have the introduction to part two and here you have got the link for all all course in miracle lessons for part two thank you for saving the world with me